Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kaiser Rake as the CSA. Let's continue on from we last left off. So, we have won the Civil War. Uh, I think the, the French are now going to try to demand Alsace Lorraine. We'll see how that works out for them. I'm going to go and assume it's going to go with a big old war. So we have no template right now for sport equipment. That's fine. We're still going to slowly be building it up just because we are probably going to need it in the future. And we're trying to get the transformative justice, which I should get rid of the Federalist uh, terrorist events, and then we'll do the uh, the American first afterwards. Okay, so the Russian public has taken over Turkmenistan. That is absolutely A-OK. -okay. We've researched some better submarines. Uh, what else do we want to do? Because right now, it's almost 1940. The half-track cars. Uh, you guys are still like a year ahead of time, but you still might not even be the worst option. You know, actually, let's get better encryption. Get some better encryption, get some better decryption. Everything can be a-okay. There we go, we got another federal response, but that, again, should go away as soon as this is finished. And then we'll do the America first, so it's gonna take like 100 days, so around, uh, April, I think? Around April, we'll, uh, destroy Jim Crow, and I think that should be fine. Social Revolution, this would be really good for getting us up our stability. So it's got, what, 5, 10, 25, like 30% of our stability will come back if we do all of this, which is, sounds pretty good to me. And we're not going to do the second constitutional uh, convention quite yet. It will be known as the Commonwealth of America if we do it like that. That's fine. Because really, um... There's no reason for us to join the International yet. Because that'll bring us to war with the Canadians, and we definitely can't win that war yet. Uh, we're definitely, like, a little bit outnumbered. We're still waiting for a bunch of infantry divisions to be deployed. We're still waiting on a handful, still, of motorized divisions. How strong are the motorized divisions, by the way? Can I, like, shift-click to open up multiples, or is that just in other ones? No. So, you are... 68, 9.4. Basically, you're just kind of bad, but you're just a lot faster. I could probably make them slightly bigger. Like, you are 12 combat with this, which is pretty bad. Can I just make them into, like, a full... 20? No, that gets it up to 18. What about a motorized? Okay, uh, okay, remove you. We have, like, two motorized artillery with it. That'll be 20. Do we even have any motorized artillery? I'm honestly not too sure. Yeah, I saw all the Domatum. Rolls on a princip uh, principle. We'll see uh, what's going to happen there. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need a lot more of everything, but it's probably gonna be a little bit better like this. Uh, Australian Coup Guard, uh, they've joined the Entente. So are you, uh... Yeah, you've got a national populist. Did they declare war? Take down Germany, that's fine. The Minor Motorized Division's a little bit bigger, but yeah, they declared war on the French, so I'm guessing the Germans said no. And we're gonna slowly need up some artillery. How many of these guys just for, um... Reinforcements, it's 851. Of course, I do want the reinforcements up first. Only 1,098 uh, for reinforcements. So that's actually not too, too bad. Of course, I do have reinforcements on the highest priority, I believe. Yes. We're making how many? We're not even making any motorized divisions right now. Austrian reads in the second Wilkring. That did not take long. Like, day one, they've intervened. Okay, well, let's, uh... Can I, like, decrease you a little bit? Like that? Decrease artillery a little bit, because we do need to start making some motorized divisions, because we're needing a lot of them. I'm surprised Austria intervened so quickly. Like, day one, they actually got involved. Yeah, Second World Creek has begun. Uh, you guys are now also at war with each other. I think Albania is going to be involved in, as well. Russia, I don't think it's going to get involved right now. A global Ukraine, will that get them involved? Yeah, they can start tying their way into the international and probably join the faction. We'll see if, um, the French just die, which is entirely possible. Denmark has joined the Reichspact. Bulgaria has joined the Reichspact. So, you know what? My idea of joining the international, we might just go for a free new world. And just ignore everything that's happening in the Fran in uh, Europe. We won't get American aid on the beaches from the sky. It'll allow us to, um, make our own little faction 
and have the entirety, I think, of the North and South America under our control. Which, to me, sounds like a pretty, uh, pretty good deal. Central America joined the Third International. Well, that's making things a little bit more complicated, isn't it? You're supposed to be in my glorious American faction whenever that happens. But, you know, we'll, we'll still see. If by the time we get down to, uh... The time to join what, either our own faction or the international. We'll see how the French are doing. If the French and the British are just absolutely dying, then we're not going to join their faction. Because why the hell would we? That'd be a massive mistake. The Canadians still have, like, nobody on their border. So it might be incredibly easy to take down the Canadians right now. They have 40. They probably have, like, 50 divisions. So we're probably actually, like, tied in terms of total divisions. Uh, New England does make that a little bit more complicated, but not by much. So you have another 12 days. Denmark, yeah, they've ended their war. Because they've... Are, are they social democratic? Yeah, they are. So that's why they, they left the war. Okay, so we got another 10 days here. We can also go down, like, the Death Settles. What do you do? It removes natural spirit, war syndicalism. Which is... Uh, which one are you? Real power gain going down, stability going down. War support going down. I mean, not bad. I mean, stability going down by 10% is not great. And neither is war support. But the military construction speed and the factory output is still pretty alright, I would say. We can probably uh, get rid of that as well. Trade convoys, take the waves. I mean, there's a lot of uh, uh, focuses down here that we're probably going to want in the future. Okay, so we can increase our conversion bonus a little bit. Let us go for... Uh, let's go for land doctrine. Infiltration, leg infantry. Generally, I have more of those than anything else, so let's go for the infantry offensive. Yeah, because you can see the, uh, New England has a decent amount of troops on our border right now, but they probably have a lot of troops sent to some other front line somewhere. Like, Portugal, you see they've already landed in Italy. Maybe they're preparing for an invasion of, uh, England. Which wouldn't be, uh, a big surprise. So this should get rid of the overwhelming Federalist resistance, I believe. Okay, so that is done. Destroy the Loyalist Terrorist. I mean, yeah, sure, that sounds like a good thing. Uh, I think let's now deal with the American First Party. How dare they uh, intervene or uh, also join us in war against us. I'm not really too sure how this works. Uh, replace overwhelming with strong. Okay, so we're just going to slowly uh, be getting all this done. So let's rebuild the West. Rebuild Alaska, Puerto Rico. I don't think we have either of those guys under our control right now. Puerto Rico's uh, joined the West Indies Federation, and Alaska is part of Canada, isn't it? Yes, it is. Apparently, you can't even cross the border from Alaska into Canada, except for, like, right here. Which is a little bit strange. Actually, no, I understand. This is actually supposed to be, like, uh, basically wilderness. You're not supposed to even have troops up here. Understandable, then. Like, where are all the Canadians going? Like, do they not understand that we're having all our troops on their border, like, ready to invade at a moment's notice? I don't think they do. So they're, are they going to be surprised when one day hundreds of thousands of American troops just walk to the country? And you last 100 days, so this probably is going to take, what, years in order to actually remove everything? The social revolution. Right now, we, we're still, um... Partial recovery. We barely have recovered at all. That's a 40% stability modifier, which is also, like, really bad. So we've gotten some better encryption. Uh, you're still two years ahead of time, so that is way too much. Uh, the half-track cars. You know, let's get some medium tank research. We probably want to get some tank divisions at some point. Yeah, like, New England is having troops on their borders. They understand that, hey... The bad stuff. Germany is actually clear war in Denmark, which is a bit surprising, just because they did not want to join in to the war with the Reichspact. 
apparently means that they get to have to work clear on them. Okay, we know that we have an infantry division here, which I guess we'll put into you. Actually, uh... Is there any territory that has nobody in it? No, but I'm gonna put you on the red right now. You go with there. How long until other troops deploy? Uh, we got another troop infantry deploying very, very soon. And yeah, like, a lot of their fortresses as well are just, like, not actually well defended. They don't have troops in them. So the entire Canadian defensive plan just doesn't work. The good work there, guys. Really, uh... Like, why are you not happy with this? Fortified? I mean, you still think there's inferior enemies, just that they're very fortified. And some people are in opposition, which they will be very, very soon, as soon as that guy gets to the front line there. And then I'll probably bring it down, what, to... Like zero percent, yeah. So it's a very iffy uh, battle plan we have right now, but that's not a huge issue, I would say. So you're almost ready to deal with the American first. I think actually after this one, no, I think we need to get to go to destroy Jim Crow and try to deal with both the terrorists at the same time, and then we can start uh, rebuilding the country. Okay, New England is putting some more troops on our border. Do they have an- okay, so this is an empty province here. These two are both empty provinces, and we have a cavalry unit, which probably is not, like, very good. We're no longer getting the effects of building a navy. Well, I don't even know if we were building a navy in the first place. So I'm not too concerned with that. I mean, okay, actually, we are building a small navy. How big is our navy? We have 55 ships compared to, like, the Canadians. Or the Germans, or anybody. Like, our navy is pretty much tiny, but... It is going to be getting better. Uh, with time. The Italians, of course, are just eating shit right now. Okay, so deal with the American first. Now we're going to go for uh, destroy Jim Crow. We also have a research slot, which we shall research. You know what, let's get atomic research going. So they might also need the nuclear bomb at some point. I wouldn't be 100% surprised. Okay, so we're going to convict part. We're not going to pardon them. Uh, people become leaders, but we're not going to do that. 150 political power, space. You know what? Let's just seize and arrest all the party members. That should be absolutely a okay. You know, they were the most. They were the faction that were like most against us. So I think it makes sense, at least you know, the role playing perspective. Let's go straight into partial mobilization. I'm not going to change our recruitment laws quite yet. I mean, it's actually still ticking down. Okay, there's so much resistance still, and we're still partial. Okay. So we'll go up to, you know, we'll save those points for now, because we're going to need them for a bunch of other stuff, too. It's like rebuilding all these places and destroying a, a terrorist organizations. We're going to need political, poverty for, uh, political power for a lot of things. I mean, Mexico still has a lot of troops on our border, but we should be, you know, pretty friendly. 172. Similar ideology, military access, trade partners. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good friends, Mexico. Just don't try to invade me, please. And who are the major powers in the Entente faction? It is just, um... It's just Canada and South Africa. Where is the... There they are. Yeah, it's the French Republic and, the, uh, and uh, Canada. The French Republic... Isn't really anything I can deal with right now. They are kind of just on the other side of the ocean. In Africa. But the Canadians we can deal with pretty easily. And I think even then, killing Canada might still uh, dissolve the Entente faction. I'm not too sure. It might go in the hands of the, the French. We can improve workers' conditions. Stability goes up. Factory output and dockyard output goes down for a little bit. Hmm. You know, let's improve some worker conditions then. Try to get our stability to go up slightly. Yes, we've uh, improved our landing craft, which again is going to be important in the future. It's just going to take like a year. Your 1942 text. But I'm also kind of like, if you just get 1942 text now, we'll have them by early or about mid 1941, which I don't think is a bad idea. 
And your 480 days. Motorized infantry hardness goes up by 100%. You know what? Let's research that then. Get our motorized infantry to be a little bit better than they are. Spanish Civil War's over. You best join the Reich's Pact. Everybody's joining factions against us. I mean, I know we're not actually involved in any war quite yet, but... Oh, France is already, uh... They've, they've almost already lost Paris. So, excellent. Good work, uh, France. You've, uh, really... You've really done your fair share here. The French Republic's also landed in Italy already. Yeah, we're just not gonna help them out. You know what? Euro European syndicalism is dead. What? You know, we can't save it. We got 18 days to destroy Jim Crow. And then we get, uh, you get a little bit of stability up. 10% stability removes national spirit reconstruction. Quality for all requires all four of these. We need all three of these in order to actually get to a new America. Yes, yeah, so this is what we're going for. I guess social revolution? You just give us political... You do nothing, actually. You also don't do anything. Well, we, I mean, we get events for it. You just change our name to Commonwealth. I think it gives us a new flag as well, which might actually be worth it. I don't know what the, the, uh, the Commonwealth flag looks like, though. Okay, so there's a massive earthquake in California. A little bit on the nose uh, there. At least at time of recording. This video is still going to go up in like three weeks from now. Uh, from when I record this, so... Okay, so Jim Crow has now been destroyed in one day. So let's go for... Well, let's get the second... That's, that's a 70 day focus though, which is quite expensive. You know what, this will actually 35 days. This will actually get our stability to go up by a significant amount, because there's plus 15%, and it's removing a negative 10. So that's going to buy by plus 25%, which should be good. Getting all the reconstruction speeds to actually go up in a, uh, a positive direction. So in 100 days, we will destroy Longest Terrorist. So now it's just, uh, now it's just strong as opposed to uh, overwhelming. I guess we have to do this, well, like, probably four or five times in order to actually get rid of all the resistance. I bet you they're not going to be very happy if we declare one of the Canadians as well. They'll be, uh, lightly ticked off, I would say. So seven out of 35 days here. I guess it is another event to try to destroy Longest Terrorist. Oh, just uh, Loyalist Terrorist. Yeah, to weaken- okay, so maybe it's only four steps, or three steps, I should say, which isn't too bad. Three is significantly less than I thought. The Canadians really just do not want to defend their borders at all. Which is- that's a little bit surprising, given the, uh, the circumstances they find themselves in. But these guys will smash straight through southern Ontario so, so quickly. These guys also will just take over, you know, the middle of Ontario as well. Be able to push straight into Thunder Bay, Vancouver, Winnipeg, all these cities would fall. Within a week, probably, because the Canadians would not be able to send their troops here in time. I mean, it would still take a while, because we'd have to get to the next step, Free World, Friendship in Mexico, and then to War Plan Red. That's probably a, um, like almost a year worth of time. Look towards the south. Masters of the West. So another 15 days here. How are our troops organizing right now? You are just basically all missing motorized divisions. And you're missing a little bit of entry equipment as well. And we're also, we don't need rubber right now, which is a bit surprising. But we do need some chromium, so let's get that from the Russians. Because, of course, we're not at war with anybody, so... We don't have to worry about any of our convoys being sunk or anything like that. Oh god, Belgium. The French, what are you guys doing? But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, thumbs down. If you want to see me to subscribe, and goodbye.